If you're someone who has a high-risk hernia and you're wondering what are the potential risks that you need to be aware of, this video is for you. As I've discussed in my previous videos, the hiatus hernia is weakness in the diaphragmatic muscle, especially at the point where the food pipe joins the stomach, which creates issues with reflux. There are two types of hernias, the sliding and rolling, and each has got a different set of complications or risks. Now, the risks associated with a sliding hiatus hernia is because of constant regurgitation of food and liquid and acid coming up all the time, it leads to a significant burning sensation on the inner lining. That, that is where the damage happens to the inner lining of the food pipe. This is called reflux esophagitis or gastroesophageal reflux disease and its severity progresses over time. This can be checked via an endoscopy. Also, if that reflux is not controlled in a timely manner, it can lead to a condition called as Barrett's esophagus, which is a precancerous condition and can progress to cancer of the esophagus, which is also called as an adenocarcinoma of the esophagus. That is the complications or the risks associated with not treating a sliding hiatus hernia, specifically in relation to the food pipe. However, what also happens is that as an individual lies down who has got a sliding hiatus hernia, at night time when they're asleep, there is regurgitation of gastric contents up into the mouth and it can also go into the windpipe creating things like hoarseness of voice because the vocal cords get irritated and inflamed because of acid that is coming from the stomach and irritating the individual's throat. It can lead to caries of the teeth because of a sour taste and acid that stays in the mouth. It can also lead to asthma. If you've got a sliding hiatus hernia and you've been treating it with inhalers because you've got asthma, well, I can tell you, you are micro aspirating, which means the acid is going from your stomach into the lungs and creating an asthma attack. This asthma cannot just be fixed by taking the nebulizers or the inhalers. You have to fix the reflux to get long-term control. So these are the risks associated with sliding hiatus hernia. When it comes to a rolling hiatus hernia, also called the parasophageal hiatus hernia, the biggest risk is sudden sharp chest pain. A lot of people think that's because of a heart attack. And yes, that is the first thing we need to exclude. However, if you know that you have a large hiatus hernia with a lot of stomach sitting in the chest, which can be picked up on a CT scan or even on an endoscopy, which is a camera down the throat, well, I can tell you the biggest risk is strangulation. The stomach getting twisted in the chest, which can lead to significant chest pain to a point where the blood supply to the part of the stomach can be knocked off and it can strangulate. And that is a risky and an emergent situation that needs urgent intervention. So I hope this video made you aware of what are the risks associated with hiatus hernias. And if you do have one, I'll urge you to get it investigated, at least get a CT scan of the chest and an endoscopy which can be arranged through your local medical practitioners. And if you wish to stay in touch with me, do subscribe to my channel and stay connected.